السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين به ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الغمة وجاهد في سبيل الله حق جهاده حتى أتى اليقين ونحن على ذلك من الشديد أما بعد ما يدير رسبك برضو سستر إزاكم الله خير for tuning in to our weekly lesson and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless and reward each, each one of you for watching this and for those who are going to continue to watch the, the rest of the lesson with the ta'ala inshallah we, we're going to be patient with each other so we can learn some knowledge and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless those who share this, this, this knowledge so more people will be benefiting from this bit in the ta'ala. My dearest back brothers and sisters, today we're going to be talking about a very important aspect uh, of our daily lives, which we have been addressing for quite some time, which are, what are some of the desires that tend to sway son of Adam from his main purpose in this, in this world? Last week, we spoke about the, the fitna of, of loving uh, uh, the status or loving having a higher position. But today, we're going to be talking about a fitna of a greater, uh, a greater level. And this is a fitna that, that involves each one of son of Adam. No, no, none of us are free from this fitna. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, زُيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ حُبُّ الشَّهَوَاتِ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ وَالْبَنِينَ وَالْقَنَاطِيرِ الْمُقَنْطَرَةِ مِنَ الذَّهَبِ وَالْفِضَّةِ Part of the, part of the, 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 the natural instinct of, of son of Adam, us human beings, is the fact that we love uh, certain things over other things, you know. Men love love women, and women love men, and and men would love to have uh, uh, the expensive thing, things in this world, whether they are gold and silver and and cattle and castles and car and etc. This is part of the, the the nature of the human being. And today we're going to be talking about the fitna or, or the, the 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 trial of women. You know, many of you would answer, like, you know, how come you, we are talking about. The, in, why uh, 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 women in this world, or uh, or the the beauty of women in this world, is such a trial? You know, it's a fi- it's a fitna that men have to go through. It's it's and indeed uh, the same thing would apply to the women. With, you know, the women is at also attracted to men. You know, and men is attracted to women. But the question here, my dear speaker, is why we in, tend to focus on the aspect of women rather than men. It's a mutual thing. It's a mutual thing. Men are attracted to women, and women are attracted to men. But the question here why, is, why do we focus on only women? Because, my dear respect, brother and sister, it's women have a greater uh, a trial than men themselves, you know? Yes, there are exceptions to the rule, but here we're talking about the generality, you know? Also, my dear respect, brother and sister, is that understand that this is one thing that many people don't understand. When we talk about uh, 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 how women, how men are attracted to men. No, no, no. For fact, my dear respect, brothers and sisters, that the very first thing that attract us to a woman is what our desire, right? Our desire to 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 women. And then after that, what happened? What happened after the desire? Love would come, you know, because you cannot. This is what what the, uh, drives a man to a woman is his desire, right? This is a natural instinct. And after this desire, what happened? Love, but it's the opposite for women. It is the, what 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 attracts a woman to a man. It's her love, and then after that, you know, after that, it's what her desire. So that's why it's it's important for us to focus on the fact that how could we make this a legit a legit relationship? Because my dear respect for sisters, if you leave it us, if you leave it. Up to us, the men, we are, we are, many of us are like wolves in which that we want to have just th- t- take care of the, our desires and forget about the, the sensational aspect of it, forget about the love. You understand? So, men, if you leave it to, up to us, we just wanted to, to do step number one, which is take care of our desires. But we don't want to move into step number two, which is, which is the love. And this is what the women would, would want. So in order for us to make sure that we have a, a good relationship, we have to give each side justice, give the men, men their desire and love, and give the women the love and then their desire. You see? Because, uh, because if, like I said, if, you, if we leave it up to the man, what's going to happen? He's going to, he's going to take advantage of the woman. You know, he's going to get his, 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 his going to fulfill his, his desire. And then what? 
He doesn't want to deal with the love. He doesn't want to deal with the responsibility. And this is what the woman wants. This is what the woman want. He, he wants someone to love her. She wants someone to take care of her. She wants someone who, who, could, who, could, who, who could satisfy her needs. You know, that's why it's important. And I'm going to stress this again. The reason why we emphasize as the women, women are a, a greater fit now because of the fact that, you know, the, the, most, the most strongest drive for men is what? Is our desire. And then after that would come love. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa the thing is, you have to understand, this is my dear respect, brothers, this is very, very important because a man, the only thing he could do is what he asked, right? The only thing he could, do, he could do is ask. And the woman, her weapon is what? Is whether she permits or whether she refuses. You know, the only thing we could do a man is what? Is ask, right? And that's why, and that's why when someone, like for instance, he would, if, if, if some, someone who is, who is, uh, 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 trying to uh, uh, be, be a, a bad individual, a bad Muslim, what he does, he flirts, right? And the woman have the weapon. She could answer, she could, she could accept his flirting, or she could, she, could, she could tell him to stop, you see? So this is very important by this for us to think, because and, and our, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have talked about this, and where he said, مَا تَرَكْتُ بَعْدِي فِتْنَةً أَضَرُّ عَلَى الرِّجَالِ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ I have not left a greater fitna, a greater fitna. There is more harmful on men more than women. Here we're talking about the fitna, not men. I don't want people to mistranslate me and think you know, you know, uh, he's a misogynist. No, here we're talking about the, the the beauty of the of the women. You know, because we want to make sure that we cover this beauty. We want to make sure that we give this beauty its 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 rights and etc. وقد وقد قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن المرأة تقبل تقبل في صورة شيطان وتدبر في صورة شيطان. That when a woman when she, when she come into a man when she leaves her house that the shaitan will try to make her more beautiful in the sight of man. And if she bends over, the shaitan want, wanted to make it more, even more beautiful. When she turn, when she turn around, the shaitan wanted to make it more beautiful in the sight of the man. And that's why he would ask and he would encourage men to look and not to lower their gaze. So my dear respect, this, this, this is the situation in which that we have a desire. Men have a desire. Men have a very strong desire. You know, unlike, and, and, and this desire follow, would, would follow, love would follow afterward. But women, what she, they need, they need love. And then after that, they, they would get their desire. Prophet yani, Ibn al-Jawzi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be, be pleased with him. He told us about the, the importance and how difficult this this desire of someone does not control it he said yeah, if, for, especially for those who have no control over their sight some people yeah, they just look and look and look and look and they don't lower their gaze you know, they, they don't they don't they don't see the, the the consequences of of letting go of their of the of their eyesight if they don't see the consequences what would happen if they don't lower their gaze ibn jawzi may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said yu'radu al-insanu ala jawzatihi for instance, the shaitan, you know, he would try to make things beautiful in the sight of the man, especially the one who is married. And he and he, and he would, when he look at a stranger woman, when he look at a stranger woman, the shaitan would make it, make her so beautiful in his sight, so beautiful, and he would make her more beautiful than his wife, you know. And why is that? And even though his wife can be more beautiful. Than the stranger woman was sababu fi dalika and now you will and the ajnabiya lent to bay and lahu waka takshufu hal muhalata. What he said, he said, Why, why the shaitan, why is it does it make it uh, uh, make, make it easy for us to look at a strange woman, not our wives? He said, Because we don't know the negative things about this woman, you don't know, you, you, you are just, you're just seeing what's outside. You know, your wife is you know you, you know how she looked like when she wake up. Your wife, you know, you know how how she how she presents herself, you know, during the day. But this woman, this strange woman, the only thing you see is what in her the most beautiful, the most beautiful aspect out of her. That's the only thing you see. But you never you haven't seen the negative things. You don't know her attitude, you don't know how she how she how how to deal with her. So what the shaitan, shaitan only only wanted to present to you the outside. The outside, only the outside, but you don't know negative things about, about her, you know. And the only way for you to know about all the negative things about the strange woman is what? By dealing with her. 
by dealing with her. And that's why many people would, would, they would fall into the trap of the shaitan. He would tell you, look, look, she's beautiful. She looks nice. Look, 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 look how awesome she is. But what happened after he commit the sin and after he goes, he goes out, he go out with this woman and he would leave his wife. What would happen? He would discover all the faults that she had. You see? So this is the problem. I know, my dear respect for others, this is, this is something that you must understand. No one would attain perfection. No matter human beings by nature, you, we, we, we never get enough. We never get enough. يعني, يعني, as, as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have said, he said, if son of Adam was given one mountain of gold, what would he do? He would ask for another. <laughs> he would ask for another. This is part of our nature, subhanAllah. And that's why Sheikh Ali Tantawi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him, what he said. He had, he had a very beautiful saying, and I, I want to share this saying with you. He said, لو أتيت بمال قارون if you were given the wealth of قارون يعني قارون يعني يعني when Allah سبحانه وتعالى described the wealth of قارون يعني people you used to the strong people would have to to hold his keys يعني the the keys of his treasures لو أتيت مال قارون if you were given the wealth of قارون and وجسد هرقل and you were given the body the strength of Hercules وواصلته عشرة آلاف أجمل أجمل النساء and you were given the, the most beautiful ten thousand women من كل لون ومن كل شكل ومن كل نوع and, 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 and these women come from all sort of varieties different colors different different shapes you know you know you, you think you're gonna be enough he said لا وأقولها بصوت عالي he said Imam Ali Al Tawil he said no you will never be good enough you know you know, and 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 this is part of the of the, 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 the 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 nature of a human being is the fact that we even what wants to get more, and that's why you always have to be patient. That, I mean, don't let go of your desires. Anything you desire would ask you, خلاص, you would say سمعنا وأطعنا. No, you have to have to be some sort of. So you have to make you to give yourself some sort some sort of restriction. You know, our desires in this world is limited. Yes, it's limited. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given us the means, the halal means, for us to fulfill our desires, whether it was through through having a, 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 a wife, whether it's through, through having, you know, buying halal things that you could you could satisfy your, your needs with, and etc. You see, there is halal ways. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he would not ask us to do, do something something that is, يعني, uh, um, we cannot we cannot handle. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could not make us handle things that we cannot handle. He would not do that. This, this is out of the justice of Rabbil Alameen. But what, what happened? He have, he have given us the means that for us to satisfy our desires in the rightly, you know, way. You know, that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made many things halal for us. And he tells you, look, you want women? Marry. If you want wealth, work hard and you will get it and, 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 and buy whatever you want from it as, for, as long as it is halal and etc. You know, but what happened? What is the issue here, my dear respect for our sisters? What does, what does, why, what makes the haram so beautiful in the sight of the man? It's the shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you know, that it's the shaitan would make it more beautiful. He would decorate things for us. He would make things look awesome. You know, he would make things, and he would attract you. You know, how, subhanallah, if you look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Talks about the story of Adam alayhi salatu was salam, you know. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made all of the Jannah, all of the Jannah. Imagine this, guys. All of the Jannah halal on Adam. All of the Jannah, yani from east and from east, it's west, from all the trees and the rivers, everything in Jannah was what? Halal. But what, 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 what was the haram aspect? One tree. And what the shaitan have done? He kept, he kept trying to seduce him you know and 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 keep and trying to trying to make this tree looks beautiful and he called it shajarat al khuld the tree of eternity you know if you eat from it you're not going to you're going to have yeah, an eternal kingdom subhanallah but what happened this is the way he tricked you you know so even though my dear respect sisters, men would like many 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 women but at the end of the day all women are the same you know, فالنساء مختلفات ولا يعني. But at the end of the day, the taste of desire is the same. But what happened? يعني yani, yes, you slept with one one woman, another woman. At the end, what? 
it's the same it's the same at the end of the day your desire is the same thing the same thing at the end of the day but many people don't re don't realize that and many people subhanallah after they commit zina many 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 times they would say oh subhanallah this is indeed true so this is something my dear instructors that we have to think about and we have to understand and ibn al-qayyim may allah subhanahu ta'ala be pleased with him what he said he said that uh, uh, uh the, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would punish the individual who love things so much more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, وَقَدْ قَضَى اللَّهُ تَعَالَى قَضَاءً لَا يُرَدُّ وَلَا يُدْفَعُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made a destiny. What is this destiny? And this destiny cannot be changed. He said, وَلَا يُدْفَعُ أَنَّ وَنَ أَحَبَّ شَيْءٍ سُوَاهُ عَذَّبَهُ بِهِ وَلَا بُدَّ أَنْ مَنْ خَافَ غَيْرَهُ يُسَلَّتُ عَلَيْهِ Very beautiful word. He said, whoever loves something more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would punish him with it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would what? Punish him with it. You know, and 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 uh, and and whoever feared something more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make that one thing would chase him, would chase him. And subhanallah, we see this with, with, with men who let go of their desires, who have no control over their desires, who have no boundaries over their desires. And what happened? They would be punished with this love. It attacks them. They always think about it. It becomes their own fear. And he said, And whoever became his body became busy with something other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. He, it would become a disaster on him. It would become, a, and, and that's why, uh, yes, it's, it's not haram to love. It's not haram for you to, to let go of your desires in halal means. No, there is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that, you see. But the problem here, my dear respect or sister, that when you have no control over your desires and you let go, and you, get, you, you, you give a green light to your desires on whatever your desire would ask, you would give. That's the problem, my dear respect or sister. And, وَمَنْ آثَرَ غَيْرَهُ عَلَيْهِ لَمْ يُبَارِكْ لَهُ فِي And whoever gave up the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, uh, oh, to something else, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is then going to give him blessings over, over that thing that he loved over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَنْ أَرْضَ غَيْرَهُ بِسَخَةً أَسْخَطَهُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَا بُدْ And he said, whoever, whoever tried to satisfy something other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what would happen? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, what, what would, he, 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 would, he, would, he would punish him with that one thing. And this is true. And we see this. Wallah al ya ikhwan. My dearest brothers and sisters, we see this. We see this for those who, who love, you know, who love things more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would punish them with it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make these things, you know, chase him. He would become more fearful. Become, it becomes, he become, it become so, so obsessed with these things that it would occupy his mind and occupy his heart and becomes everything. To the point, subhanallah, people would become so, yani, attached to the, to to haram things like pornography and etc this is something that we see my, and, and it and, and occupies their life you know that's why the shaitan always he wants to seduce you and that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Wala shaitan. and do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan shaitan will tell you look yeah just a small step it's okay just look what's gonna happen with the look but what happened a look is there's another look and another and another look you're gonna end up watching a short clip and when you will show, watch a short club you'll watch a whole movie and after watching a whole movie you, you your desires will not stop you said i want i don't want just move it i want to touch i want to feel and etc you see so it's it, it's continuous and people have and you and you have no control over over your Ibn Qayyim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he continues and he said, Fakullu man ahabba shay'an ghayru Allahi azabahu bihi thalatat marrat fi dunya wa fi al-akhira. Listen to this, my dear respect brothers and sisters. He said, Whoever loved anything other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would punish him with that one thing in three ways in this dunya and in three ways in what? In the hereafter. Let's watch what Ibn al-Qayyim have said. He said, whoever love, like for instance, whoever, whoever, whoever yani is, is obsessed with, 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 with women and etc., what happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to punish him in this, in, in this dunya in three ways. How? He said, he would be punished with it until he gets it. He always think about it. How can I get it? He's depressed. He's anxious. So that's a form of punishment. 
فإذا حصل عليه عذب به حال حصوله عليه بالخوف من من سلبه. He said after he gets it, he's now more even sometimes he be more anxious because he does not want to let go. He 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 is he's upset he's obsessed with it and he does not want to leave it, which is considered to be another form of punishment. And he said فإذا سلب سلب سلبه اشتد عذابه عليه. And and if if let's let, nothing lasts forever, right? Nothing lasts forever. And if, and if that one thing left him, he becomes so obsessed with it. And he is fearful and he's sad the fact it's left him. You see? And this is the three form of punishment of that of whatever a person is obsessed with. Other and if he loves something other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is what happens going to happen to him in his dunya. But what about the hereafter? He said, فَإِذَا فِي الْبَرْزَخِ And if someone is in the in the grave, in in the, in the life of the grave, فَعَذَابُهُ يُفَارِقْهُ uh, the very first thing that he is going to be punished with as soon as he entered into his grave is the is the punishment of leaving that one thing. He left it. You see, he's he he, he cannot have it any, anymore. This is even more a more a greater punishment. And he would now he realize how much good things have have he have left that he did not do in this world. He could have done. Get, got closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and if he have done so uh, you know all the reward of that that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give him in the hereafter but it's now it's too late it's too late he cannot he cannot go back it's, it's it, 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 if if he was obsessed and he was the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the reward and the beauty and he could have gotten everything that he wants but subhanallah now he is sad and it's a form of punishment it's a sad because he could have done better he could have got closer so he could have got he gotten more more bounties from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reward, and he would not know that until what? Until he is it's too late for him. And the, the greater punishment, ya ikhwan, the most severe punishment that an individual would have, that what happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would put, would put between him and and Allah and, and that individual a hijab, a veil, and he would not see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What a greater punishment! What a greater punishment in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yani, the, the, the number one thing, ya ikhwan, the number one thing that we want to, to see, the number one thing that we want to attain, the number one thing that we, we, we want to achieve in once we get into heaven is not. Women and luxury and, and, and trees and, and rivers. No, the most beautiful thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would reward those who, who are the believers is seeing the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is seeing the face of Allah. So this is the most beautiful thing in Jannah, ya ikhwan. And, it is, and, 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 and you know, some, some people think that the reason why we want to go into heaven is because we want, we want luxuries and we want to drink wine and beer and have women. No, no, all these are extra things. The most beautiful things is that, is that we see the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the highest. And, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he would not let anyone who, is, who would see him, only the people who are, who, are, who, are, who are closer to him. My dear respect, brother, brother, brother sisters, yani, um, We have to understand the following, that the desire, it either you control it or it controls you. This is something that you have to understand. That uh, 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 Ibn al-Qayyim, Ibn al Jawziya now he's talking. And when I want you to, and this is what I'm going to end with, Ibn al Ta'ala. He said, تَأَمَّلْتُ حَالَةً أَزْعَجَتْنِي That I thought of one thing that it make me worry a lot. What he said, هو أن الرجل قد يفعل مع أمرته كل جميل وهي لا تحبه. That a man might do so much to his wife yet he does not love him, right? ويفعل مع صديقه الصديق صديقه والصديق ما يبغضه. He's like someone would try to so much to satisfy his friends yet they don't like him. It's true. It's, it's possible. وقد يتقرب إلى السلطان بكل ما يقدر عليه والسلطان لا 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 يؤثر. And somebody he tried to be, he tried to get so much close to his boss or his king or his, or his leader. Yet the the leader or this this his boss does not like him. فا 
فيبقى متحيرا ويقول ما حيلتي this man would say what's why why you know, I'm, I'm trying to get closer to my wife and she's not liking me I try to get closer to my friend and they don't like me I try to get closer to my, to my boss and they don't like me فخفت أن تكون هذه الحالة مع الخالق سبحانه وتعالى يا الله and he said the most and the, the ultimate reason is why this man does not have a good relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He does not have a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wow. Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you, he would make people love you. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like you, he would make a barrier between you, him, and you, his servants. And this is, we know this from the hadith. إذا أحب الله مر نادى يا جبريل if, if Allah سبحانه وتعالى loves an individual who would call you oh جبريل إنه أحب فلان ابن فلان I love a man that his name is son of this man فيوضع له القبول في الأرض that, that acceptance would be given to him in this earth people would love him people who are righteous they would love him with no reason and vice versa and vice versa in which that for someone Allah سبحانه وتعالى does not dislikes no one would, no one would dislike him Everyone, no one, everybody would dislike him. Everyone, yani, he tries his, he, and he would think, why? Why? How come, how come no one is liking me? Because there is something between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because there is something between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you have to deal, deal with this one thing before anything else. Make it a priority. I want to seek the satisfaction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want, I, want, I want to be a true servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after that, you would have the tranquility. And you will have the satisfaction. And no matter what little things you do to, do to your surrounding, people would accept it and they would like you. Because the, the most important relationship, yes, we should have good relationship with our wives, with our children, with our friends, with our neighbors, with our bosses, yes. But what is the most important relationship is between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think about that, my dear respect, brothers and sisters. Let's turn our face and hearts to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I ask Allah, all of us to accept, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yani, accept from all of you for watching this. Please, if you don't mind, share this, yani, so many people would, would benefit from this. Jazakumullah uh, khair, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.